What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So there's a lot of videos out there on how to get free money from the government. And the few that are out there usually want you to either pay them money in order to show you how to do it, or they're just plain weird. But today I'm gonna go over legitimate ways to get free money from the government that actually work and won't be a complete waste of your time. And I know this because me or people that I know have actually tested these methods out. And after watching this, you will know everything that you need in order to get started. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to check to see if there's free money that's being held by either the state that you live in now or a state that you lived in in the past for either yourself or any member of your family. And these could be from an old bank account that they opened when they were a kid. They could be from an old investment account that your grandparents opened for you you didn't even know about, an old insurance policy, uh, land or personal property that was sold at auction. It could be a ton of different things, but what ends up happening is they try to find you, and if they don't, it goes into a trust with the state and they hold the money for you. And by try to find you, I mean they pretty much never find you. The problem is is that the state just doesn't have that many staff and they don't have the cash to hire people to go out there and just like search for everybody and call and try to find these people that left money with them. And so they rarely find people to claim it and the only way you can access it is to smash that like button. Just kidding, but seriously, I would appreciate it if you did hit the like button. It helps with the algorithm and it helps the channel out a lot and I sincerely appreciate it, so thank you. But because of this, you have to be the person that actually goes to your state or any state that you lived in the past and do what's known as an asset search. Now, let's say that you're a broke 13 year old that doesn't have a penny to their name. Well, you should still do this because you can search for your parents' names, your aunts, your uncles, your brother, your sister, your cousins, your nephews, whoever, your ex-wife. It seriously doesn't matter. Search everybody's name because there's over $58 billion in unclaimed money in the United States. Yeah, you heard that right. $58 billion. So chances are somebody in your family does have unclaimed money. And guess what? A few years back, I did this very thing, and what do you know? My dad had an old property that he'd kind of forgotten about that was sold at auction, and he ended up getting a really nice five-figure amount. Dad was really happy, and I ended up getting a new PlayStation. Now, doing this search is a very difficult and arduous process, so you need to pay really, really close attention here, okay? First, go to Google, type in your state, then type in unclaimed property search afterwards. Then you look for the link that says your state's controller office. Click on it, then go to the link that says unclaimed property search and then click on that. Then enter your first or last name or the last name of whoever you're searching for. Then enter the then enter either your first or last name or the first and last name of whoever you're searching for and ta-da, you're done. It's that easy. Now, if you find anything, you'll have to fill out a quick form to verify your identity and then they'll send you the check. And when I did it, this whole process took around three weeks to a month, somewhere around there. But I'm sure this varies from state to state and I'm sure there's some states that are much faster than others. So enter everybody's name that you know and chances are you will find something. Now, the second way you can get free money from the government is free government grants and there are a ton of these but a really good one is 995hope.org and the 24-7 hotline is 888-995-HOPE and they know when that hotline bling it can only mean one thing and that is to help you pay your mortgage payment or at least reduce it by up to half on an ongoing basis if you need it. And basically what they help you do is to pay your mortgage or to reduce your mortgage by up to half on an ongoing basis if you need it. Now, one of the main reasons this organization exists is because of the 2008 financial housing crisis where millions of people ended up foreclosing on their mortgages. And since then, they have helped over 9 million people avoid foreclosure. So this is a legit program. This is no joke. And this isn't one of those grants where winning it is like winning the lottery or something like that. You know, this is actually one that you're very, very likely to get if you apply for it. And they have over 10 different programs that range from paying all of your mortgage for a very short period of time, like maybe one month, to paying up to half of your mortgage on an ongoing basis, basically for the entire life of your mortgage. So basically, whatever situation you're in, they have a program that can help you out. 
Now, if you have some credit card debt or you know other types of debt, you can go to HUD.gov and type in the Office of Housing Counseling and you'll see a map of the United States. And I don't know why they call it this. It's the government, so it's not supposed to make any sense, I guess. But they also deal with other types of debt. And the trick here is to call them. Make sure to physically pick up the phone and call them and explain your situation. And at the very least, they will tell you what your best option is. And there's a good chance they'll have a program to get the debt off of your back. What if you haven't bought a house and you want to buy one? Well, there's programs for that as well. For instance, the American Dream Down Payment Initiative, also known as ADDI, will provide up to $10,000 for you to cover closing costs or a down payment on a house, and that's a federal program. There's also state programs, local programs, city programs, county programs, etc. And the best place to find these is to go to your state housing authority, which you can find by going to ncsha.org, which is the National Council of State Housing Agencies, and then clicking on your state and you'll see a bunch of programs. So just click on them and then you'll see whatever they have that applies to your particular situation. There's free closing costs money. There's free down payment money, money to fix up your house. If you need to repair your roof or you need to add on to your house or anything like that, there's basically free money for basically any situation that you have that involves your house. And most of it just stays there untouched or rich people who actually know about it because they know politicians end up applying for it and getting it. The one for fixing up your house, for instance, is the US Department of Energy Weatherized Assistance Program. Now, student debt is the next thing that can be fixed by government grants, and uh, student debt sucks. Now, there are a bunch of businesses out there that will charge you 500 to even more than $1,000 to do what I'm about to show you, so pay attention here. Go to studentaid.ed.gov slash repayloans. Go to http slash slash www.nclc.org. And by the way, I'm, you know, I'm gonna provide all the links in the description. And then go to consumerfinance.gov and search repay student debt. All of these are very, very good programs that can help you out when it comes to paying off your student debt. Now, the next one on the list is a, an organization that will help you find a really good job. And it's gonna be servicelocator.org. You put your zip code in there and it'll give you the number to the local office office that you can contact and they will help you find a very good job. And it isn't just for jobs actually, they will also help train you in valuable skills that you can use to get an even better job. They'll pay you up to $8,000 in order to train yourself and if you own a small business, they'll pay you even more in order to train your employees. And number one on the list is going to be the small business development centers and these guys are just awesome. They're all around the country and they'll help you start a business, grow a business, uh, they'll help you with taxes, accounting, sales, scaling, uh, just about anything that you th can think of, getting financing for your business. They'll help you with anything you can think of when it comes to starting or expanding a business. They are an awesome resource for anybody, no matter how experienced you are. And the website you can go to is asbdc-us.org. And this stands for the American Small Business Development Centers, United States. So I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, ring a little notification bell, Comment down below and then make sure to watch my other videos because I'm gonna be dropping a lot of value and I basically just help people identify opportunities that are out there in the world and help people become successful. If you have any other suggestions, go ahead and comment them down below. I always listen to your guys' suggestions and I make videos based off of what you want. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it and bye for now.